Hi, hi. Welcome, welcome back. Hi. We're playing some more Stardew today. Hi. Stardew Valley. Welcome back. It is a chill Saturday. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna play some more Stardew Valley. Last stream, right at the end, we got our prismatic shard, which felt <clears throat> so good. That was really nice. Very, very nice getting that um, prismatic shard right at the end there. So we're fucking ready. I'm fucking ready to roll. Fucking ready to go. Let's load this bitch up. Load up our farm. And let's go. We do have our little notebook right here with um, all our stuffs that we need, like what people love, we gotta work more on relationships, we also need more leaks for Evelyn, as we can see, we still need some more leaks for Evelyn, we have six more days, so we need to go looking more for leaks for Evelyn. Now we can buy actually more fruit trees. I do know what fruit trees we have now. We can also go and do that if we want to. Um, we also got to upgrade our coop at some point. I had 500 wood, 200 stone, 20,000 G, which we can do right now if we wanted to, because I believe we have, well, actually, we might not have 500 wood. We'll have a look at that. Uh, and just in general, make kegs, reserve jars, you know, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. And we're waiting for summer because we need to get our last tilapia. Our last fish that we need to get is the tilapia. We can get that in summer. That's the last fish we need to finish the community center. Ooh. No, it isn't. What am I even thinking? I thought we had finished the community center. We haven't finished the community center. What, we have the bulletin board still? Oh my god, I thought we only needed tilapia. <gasps> oh no. Well, we can give this truffle. We are getting the apples, so we're finishing that. We are getting apples in the greenhouse right now. So we can get that. The rabbit's foot. Do I don't have a rabbit, do I? So you really gotta upgrade that coop to get a rabbit's foot, don't we? Shit. Ooh, we're also zoomed out. Perfect for, weather for flower dance. Oh, the flower dance is tomorrow. Alright. Spirits are displeased today. Uh, we do have to zoom. Ooh, nope. Zoom back in again, though. Because the last time, thing we did was obviously being in the Skull Caverns. Getting that beautiful prismatic shard that gave us this beautiful galaxy sword. So happy about that. Um, let's just order some stuff, shall we? There we go. Right, let's start our day. Uh, how are you doing? Hope I gift that sent you. Well, thank you for the cloth, Emily. Appreciate it. We're going to flower dance. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Get the mayonnaise. Sell the mayonnaise. Right, let's get our animals first of all. Oh, we gotta keep the truffle to put in the community center now because I thought we only had the fish left, but we fucking don't. That is kind of scary, but that we completely forgot about that, but you know, we're doing it now. We're doing it now at least, which is the important part. <laughs> Jesus, I don't think I have a rabbit, right? I don't think I can get a rabbit yet. We really need to upgrade our coop then. Because I don't have a rabbit and I don't think I can get a rabbit right now. And also my coop is full. It's going to take forever to get that rabbit's foot. My god. Well. We can do it. We can do it. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. Right? Yeah. This is completely fine. I love my life. Everything is fucking great in Stardew Valley. This is such a chill Saturday. We put one in here. We need to put one obviously in the CC, but we can put one there and we got another one anyway. 
let's put the other one also in here there we go oh do i have any apples already uh let's see don't think i have any apples in there i do have an apple in here at least and i think we oh shit i'm so sorry somehow i pressed the brb button sorry so sorry about that i do have an apple in here how did i press that that's so far away whatever um we do have an apple in here and we might have two on the tree that would be good so we can already do the apple then it's just a rabbit foot that is the issue and the hardest one to get for us damn Probably I forgot about the bulletin board. I thought it was just the fish left. That's bad. Oh, we had three apples here. Never mind. Then we're all good. Let's get the fruit from the trees. Nice. Got three apples for the community center. <sighs> Jesus. I really thought we only had a fish left. Good thing I didn't realize then. Right, let's see how much wood we have. Considering we now do need to get that coop upgrade. Real bad. Ooh, we do have enough wood actually. 500 wood. Let's bring 500 wood. Hold on. Put some stuff back. My god, this takes forever. Just putting stuff back. Oh, and actually, you know what? We also need to actually get down to 500. And, and there we go, 500. And I'm just gonna bring all the stuff. I can't be bothered to do that again. And 20,000 G, we do have that. So we gotta get the chicken, the upgrade for that. Oh. It's a Tuesday. She doesn't work on a Tuesday. You gotta wait until tomorrow, I guess. Sell that. Damn it. This sucks for us. Like, this sucks a lot for us, actually. You gotta wait one more day for... Um, oh, can I get the truffle, please? Thank you. For this to be upgraded again. Damn. Anyway, for now, let's just take a little round up in the mountains. Make sure we uh, don't have any leaks that we need to pick up. Bum, bum, bum. Right. No leaks here. No leaks here. Robin, why aren't you working today? We re Ooh, there's a leak right here. Good. Two more leaks now. Oh, look, there she goes. Robin, I needed to work today. Damn it, I really need that upgrade. Well, not today, I guess. Not today. We can at least put some stuff in the community center. Which is good. We can finish a few more bundles. At least we can finish this one. There we go. That bundle is complete. Pink cake. Hell yeah. And we can finish this one. <sighs> At least we can do that. That feels good. Oh, a heater. I don't need a heater because I think I have already two, but ugh, the fucking rabbit's foot. God damn it. I even think the merchant lady sold a rabbit's foot not that long ago. Could have bought it. But I didn't think about it. Damn it. Right. No one's birthday. No one's posted anything. Fine. Stuff ain't going the way I hoped it would go. But that's okay. You know what? It is so hard to become friends with Alex. So we're gonna give him an egg. 
You're the guy to get up my friendship level with people, you know? Two for Robin. 800 ha 80 hardwood. A thousand pieces of wood. Ugh, I don't really want to do either of these, honestly. I'm gonna set the hardwood one, but... I gotta gather them as well. It doesn't really matter how many I already have. Well, we'll see, Robin. I probably won't do it, but... We have it at least, I guess. Hey, Elliot. I have a lot of pomegranates, so you can have one. Since I know you love them. What is the mermaid song again? Hold on. Um, I do have the note somewhere. Let's see. It's like. One five four two three. One five four two three. One five four three two. Some people said that if you play that, he would say something or do something, but he didn't, so. I don't fucking know. Dun 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 dun. Anyway, I guess we do have a lot of time before we can get the lap down anyway. I think you need... No, it's any weather for the lap. I thought I maybe needed rain. But still, there's a few days until it is actually summer anyway. So I guess we do have some time, but... Damn. We gotta really need that rabbit's foot, don't we? Oh, a shadow person above ground? This is outrageous. Technically, he isn't up above ground, though. Your people were responsible for uh, the death of my entire family. I'm not like them. If you dwarves uh, hadn't driven us from our an ancestral home, we would have never had to resort to violence. I'm sorry about your family. Sorry isn't going to cut it. Look at them, they're gonna fight! Fight, fight, fight. Here I come. Rescuing again. Let me at him. He, uh, he's despicable. Come on and get it, shrimpy. Hey, wizard. You put them by the fire. Silence, both of you. Silence! The elemental wars have, gone, uh, have long been finished. You have no reason to be fighting any longer. The two of you must, ta must make peace for the sake of your hum- For the sake of the human that live humans that live around you. Surely you can see that. Grumble, grumble. Very well. If I'll stay away from the sewer, I'll stay away from the sewer from now on. And I'm truly sorry about the past dwarf. I have no personal gripe with you. Very good. And I shall cast, I shall cast a seal of promise to finalize this agreement. I was like, I'm gonna leave now. Hey, Kroby. I'm too sensitive to sunlight. Uh, do you have anything cool? Not really anything for me today. I'm sorry, Krobus. Bye. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I'm too fat. I'll fit through there. 
Ah. Right. Well, I guess we have not much more to do than just head back to our farm, you know? We really just gotta, like, get to Robin tomorrow and buy that coop upgrade. We really do. Oh, horsey! Hey, Pam. Um, thank you for the forageable. For forageables? Sounds like vegetables. Right. Give me that. Uh, egg and egg. Truffles be brewing. We got another one. Uh, sell the clams and the. Oh, actually. Mm, I'm gonna keep those. Sell those. I'm gonna sell the other pomegranates as well. We don't need that right now. Sell the truffle and sell these. Sell the green algae. I don't need that right now. Yeah. Put this away. Put the leak in here. Organize that. We have those in there. Uh, pink cake can go in the fridge in here. There we go. And the cherry sound is just honestly just good for um yeah i have a heater in here i guess we can put two heaters in here why not i have nowhere else to put it oh actually let me not put it there Boop. let me put it like here because i want to put the automatic the auto grabber right there I'm pretty sure I have a heater in here as well. We've already been through a winter, so... Yep. Let me just check a quarry. Can also just... Whoop, get rid of that. We don't need that. Um, same with this. Just clear up a little bit, you know? Um... I'd be a little clearer, a little cleaner. Because right now it's a little messy. And we don't like that, right? Oh, itchy, itchy palm. Itchy palm. Ba da 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 we got some stuff here, which is pretty good. Let's just chuck away on that. Oh. Uh, we might actually also get have some more iridium that we need to that we need to smelt. That's what it's called. The sturgeons are doing well, I'm assuming. We have five now. Wow, everything is okay. Oh. Empty pot. I see. Uh. Well. Oh, they're getting ready to go back inside now. Bye. Hope you had a good day. Uh. Ooh, we got some caviar. Nice. Sell that and sell that. Lovely, lovely. Uh, get the caviar. I could probably sell that now, actually. Because I should have some to keep that I have kept. I think I have kept one, like, here, yeah. You sell the caviar. Cool, cool. Yeah. That's about it for the day, honestly. Hey, kitty cat. Pet the kitty cat. And we kind of just need tomorrow. Because we kind of just need... Well, I did this. Well, anyway. 
kind of just need that coop, honestly. Uh, so I might just head off to sleep. I know it's early, but I think I might just do it. Mm. How much does a caviar sell for? 500 each. All right. It's a fair amount of money. Din, 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 din. All right, we're ready for Robin today. Um, spirits are in good humor. Oh, I just said that we were ready for Robin today, but it's a fucking festival, isn't it? Are you kidding me? Well, never mind. Tomorrow we can go to Robin. Stupid. Oh. Uh, pet, pet, milk you. Milk you. Oh, pet you. Oh, pet you. Uh, I did both, apparently. My god, I'm all over the place. And milk you. Pick that up. Oh, um. Nope. Meant to do that. Pick that up, pick this up, what you want. Oh, actually, you know what? I have that. There you go. I had that on me. Pretty good. Actually. Um, put the pail back in there. Hey, chickens. Oh, I meant to pet this chicken. Thank you. And there's a chicken down here. I have probably all of them. Maybe. Nice. That's a lot of eggs. That's a lot of eggs. Anyway. Milk. Milk. Void egg. Dino egg. Egg. Goat milk. <laughs> and truffle. The whole package. Ooh, diamond. Diamond. Uh, there we go. Put the maple syrup in there. And do I have the... Yeah, I have met the bear. I just needed to know that I'd actually done that. <laughs> Hey Diamond, thank you. And the kitty cat. Uh, let me just do this. To make some space. Uh, everything is going well in here, nothing to harvest yet. But I can harvest these, but I'm, I can wait with that. Anything in here? No. Um, let me get on my horse and we can check real quick. Oh, the flower dance has begun. But I would like to real quick just check if there's any leaks. Or should I just go to the flower dance and we can check afterwards? You know what? I might do that instead. We can check in the evening when I come back from the flower dance. We can check for the leaks. I gotta remember though. Oh. Hey, do you have anything I want? Not really. Bye. Hey, Emily. Whew, I'm stuffed. Hey, have you tried uh, the red, red jelly yet? I'm not gonna ask you. I wore my best shirt for the dance. This sort of thing doesn't happen very often. Hey Jules, glad to see you here. Let me just talk to Caroline. Wish Pierre would spend the time with uh, the family. Yeah, not sell stuff. 
And this open field makes me nervous. Happy thoughts, Kent. Happy thoughts. Are you going to be dancing today, Jules? These spring time dances can be uh, traced back to ancient fertility uh, rituals. Hey, you should know, uh, you should know about this stuff, farmer. Ah, uh, the air smells so sweet with all these flowers. Mmm, excellent sauce. Ah, uh, this green stuff is spicy. Ow! Now this, uh, now this is the life, huh, kid? Sweet wine and a babbling, a babbling brook, warm air. Did I mention wine? I really hate dancing in front of everyone. It's so embarrassing. Mom makes me do it. Ugh. <laughs> That's all you have to say. Ugh. You know what? Admit it. I really like flowers. But he was allergic. Whatever. Frog season is really starting to pick up. I should have brought my fishing pole. Someday I'm going to be the flower queen. That's not fair. Why can't I uh, be the flower queen? I've been working on these flower uh, floral arrange arrangements for uh, a week. You like them? I do, Evelyn. Flowers? I can hardly see them. It's too bright out here. We should not start. I just want to talk to you, but I guess all you want to say is start. I'm practicing my dance moves. Uh, it needs to be perfect. I've been flower queen for the past five years and I'm not ready to step off the throne just yet. I'm just enjoying the scenery. <laughs> you creep. I don't like you. Money looks lovely today. <sighs> Love is in the air. And I'm still single. Oh, hello there. It's nice of you to talk to me. Spring is almost over. What a shame. I like dancing, but this one is a little... Uh, silted. The old timers really love it, though. I'm working up the courage to ask someone uh, to dance with me. I'm nervous. No, uh, so to Clint, he's the last one. I wonder if Emily would dance with me. Right. Uh, who are we gonna dance with? Who can we dance with, actually? I think I can dance with like a lot of them. I cannot dance with. I can dance with all of them. Can't. I... Do I just need two hearts? I think maybe or four. Don't remember. Uh, why don't we dance with uh, Elliot for now? Hey, Elliot. Would you like to dance with me? You want to uh, be, be my partner for the flower dance? Okay. I look forward to it. Can I talk more to him? No. You want to dance with Elliot? Why not? Let's start. I feel like I'm messing up a little bit. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That's just charming, you know? That's just a t charm, ain't it? That was fun. Time to go home. Uh, oh, we need to sell all this. But I do need to go and see if we have leaks. But now my horse is all the way down there. I wish there was a way you could like call your horse. 
there really isn't. Right. Um. Horsey, we need to go. I'm going to check around. Horsey! We need to see if there's any leaks. We need to be fast. Because it's getting late. Come on, Horsey! Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da Nothing here. Any leaks? Well, there's a horse radish right there. I guess we can get that. Any leaks? Any leaks around? Hello? Leaks? Is there any leaks? Just need some leaks. No? Hello? Is there nothing? It's kind of sad. Um, it's not a horseradish. Which is, uh, no leaks. Not what we needed to see. Not what we needed to see at all. Oh. Well, I'm just gonna go here. I'm sorry, horse. Bye. Sorry, horsey. We need to get back home. Uh, let me sell at least one of them. Put the other one in there. Get the jade. Thank you very much. Oh, get that. Um, no more truffles. Let's go to bed. And now... Yes. Now, we can actually go to Robin to finally upgrade that coop. God damn. It took a long time. But we can finally do it. Ooh, tea leaf. Uh, check the weather for tomorrow. Beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Spirits are in good humor today. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, get this. We do have an egg we can put in already. Ooh, oh, we got leaks. We got leaks, everybody. We can also finish the thingy we grab for Granny then. Hell yeah. We got the leaks. We did it. Granny, we're coming for you. Okay, I'm just gonna grab all of the leak. So we're ready. Uh, let's just sell this, 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 and that, and that, and that. One of these, why not? Actually, let's make, uh, can I make tea? Uh, oh, actually, I need to put it in a keg, don't I? I can't craft it. Never mind. We have the leaks. Nice, nice, nice. Lovely, lovely. Where did I put the tea leaves? In here? I don't think it needs to be in there. It can be in here. Sure. There we go. Head to the animals uh, to milk those. Hey, piggy. Come on. There we go. Hey, cow. Hey, cow. Hey, pig. This is a cow. 
That's not a knife. This is a knife. Hey, chicken. Y'all heading down a little bit? Heading to different spaces? Alright. No one's in there. There we go. Um, milk, uh, egg, egg, milk, yeah. Actually, we do need to put this pail back as well. We don't want to carry that around everywhere. Uh, I think I heard a truffle being dug up, which we also want to get. Thank you, piggy. Where did the other pig go? Oh, up here. Okay. Alright. I don't know why I went up there, but you know. You do you, I guess. Get that in there. Cool. Get me on my horsey. Rat of oh, strawberries and cranberries the same day. Wow. Now that's nice. Oh, that's hot. Right. Cool, cool. You can sell some of this. We do need to go to Robin and maybe Clint. I was thinking as well. Maybe Robin, maybe Clint. Uh, thank you for the mayo. Here's an egg. Um, we can keep some, actually sell all that strawberries, sell it all. Uh, sell that as well. Sell that. Sell the strawberries. Sell the pomegranate. There we go. Right. Um, let's head, head off. Let's head off. On our grand adventure. Granny, I got your stuff. Uh, place in Evelyn's kitchen. I don't think I'm gonna end up doing that hardwood. It doesn't really feel likely. Oh, it's Pierre's birthday tomorrow. Uh, oh, where's Sandy? I'm not gonna go there. Sorry, Sandy, it's not happening. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Evelyn! Blunk. Um, yeah. There you go, Ellen. You're welcome. 2000G, thank you. And then the last leak you can go to George. There you go. Can I watch TV with you? You're cute. Uh, let's head up to Robin just so we get this coop done with so we have done it so we're not missing opportunity for doing that because we need to do it hey Robin uh, upgrade for our uh, construct fire middlings um, deluxe coop, unlocks rabbits, yes, build. There we go. Nice, nice. So we're working on it tomorrow. Thank you. You want a cherry? Thanks, really nice. Uh, you're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't shopping, you know. You get pretty lonely here in the mountains. 
Hey Demetrius, well I sold all my strawberries, but you could also get one of these if you want to. Um, sure. That's about it. Hey Sebastian. How you doing? Why does everyone like Maru so much? Sure, she's smart and friendly, but uh, don't they realize it's all an uh, attention-grabbing scam? Jesus, okay. Somebody doesn't like their... This is year two. Sorry. Someone doesn't like their, like, sister-in-law. No. That's not right. Stepsister. Um... What did he think of that? Where is he? Sebastian. He liked it, okay. Um, and Robin also liked it. Demetrius. Uh, Ricky. Rick. Sorry, I'm so bad at like reading the names. This is not a co-op save, no. Uh, but thank you so much for following, uh, Ricky. R Ricky, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm so bad at reading the names. I'm so sorry. But thank you so much for following. I appreciate that a lot. I am not British, no. And every time I talk about it, I become a British. But I'm not British, no. I am Norwegian. <laughs> I am not English. There, this is just vanilla. There's no, no mods right now. Just pure, just vanilla game. Vanilla gameplay. Oh, we got a cutscene. Oh, hello, Jules. What? Haven't you seen my motorcycle before? Hmm. I guess I haven't shown it to you been like I've been here like this is my second year being here great I've uh, had enough of sexist and racist British women for one day they're the worst oh, I'm sorry I don't really know what's happening but I'm sorry <laughs> them <laughs> well uh, I, they might be <laughs> but yeah I'm not British <laughs> I got straight to the point you really did Sometimes after uh, sundown, I make the long ride out to start in your valley. Wait, did I read that right? I don't think I read that right. Uh, there's nothing else like uh, blazing along the empty uh, stretch of road towards the faint city glow. Once I've saved enough, uh, up enough money, I'm going to head out on my, uh, on my way to the city and beyond. Uh, just me and my bike. There we go. Oh, it's changed. Do you need to be under your motorcycle like that to change oil? I honestly don't. Uh, this is not my first run, no. Uh, I played this many times. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's not my first run. I have no, I don't know anything about motorcycles, but do you really have to change the oil from being underneath it? Seems like a lot. <laughs> hey, maybe I'll uh, take you for a ride someday. Sounds fun. No thanks. Sounds, sounds, that sounds stupid. I'm scared of my motorcycles. Me? Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> like, me as a person, I am scared of motorcycles. Um, but I want to be nice to him, so I'm going to say that's fun. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> Great. But I'm scared of motorcycles. Wait. Uh, okay, hold on. This is a lot, sorry. But uh, I don't know why you happen to you in other streams uh, with other British people. Um, I don't discriminate against anyone, whoever you are. You're always welcome and come as you are. I don't 
care who you are or what you look like or uh, anything like that, you're always welcome. I am sorry if you had a very bad experience with uh, other streamers here. Anybody else is welcome. I don't. It doesn't matter to me. You're always welcome. Uh, we're just here to have a chill time, play some Stardew Valley, and just enjoy ourselves, honestly. So yeah. Uh, I mean, you do change the oil from below, but you uh, do not want to be below when you do it. I uh, makes sense. Is it Sebastian lying or drinking the oil? You know, could be a little bit of both, honestly. <laughs> honestly, it could be a little bit of both. <laughs> he could both be like lying about changing the oil, but at the same time also be drinking it a little bit. <laughs> Pardon my suspiciousness, but on the natural, I get it. I totally get it. It's fair. Um, I obviously don't really ever need to um, need to have those types of experiences. I'm very fortunate in that way. But um, to me, anybody is welcome. I will not discriminate against anyone, whoever you are. But obviously, if you are mean to other people, if you are hateful towards other people or say hateful stuff, uh, then I won't obviously allow that. But you're always welcome to be whoever you are, but hurting other people or harming other people, I don't find okay, and I'm not allowing that at all. And uh, if anybody's ever hurtful to other people, you will be banned. <laughs> but um, other than that, you're allowed to be who you are. I'm not going to discriminate against that. Right, what are we doing? I got my upgrade for our coop, which is great. We did uh, pet all the animals. We got some more truffles, which is great. Look at that. He's getting upgraded. We love to see it. We love to see it. Um, put that truffle in here so that it gets good and oily. <laughs> Ew, that sounds so gross. <laughs> um, Get some iridium. Smelt that shit. We want those iridium bars. And honestly, I think we're just gonna head into the cave for a little bit. I think that could be a good, uh, good little pastime. Just gather some more materials. Honestly, we have obviously finished all the levels there, but it's always actually. No, well, hold on a second. I just need to check the trees. Ooh, we do have some uh, hardwood at least, which is pretty good. I have uh, one with jade and one with diamond. I am going to change out the diamond probably to a ruby for a little bit, just so I can get some, because like, I lost like a shit ton of um, spicy eels, because um, I died in the skull caverns, and the one thing they took was all of my spicy eels, which was very, very sad. Um, that hurt a lot. <laughs> but I have one jade. I have a shit ton of jade because I always forget to bring them and exchange them. Um, for staircases. But yeah, I think I'm going to change one of the diamonds to... Um, I think I'm going to change one of the diamonds to... A ruby. That's the right one. <laughs> I am so sorry that you had that experience, by the way. Um, I wish none to ever have that type of experience. It's very sad to see, obviously. Um, people can be pretty shit. The ruby, you can change out the ruby for uh, spicy eels at like the trader, the trade guy in uh, the desert. And spicy eels give you both a little health and a little energy, but it also gives you luck and speed. 
So they're pretty good to have um, in the skull caverns. To both have higher speed and also get a little extra luck. Which is pretty good. So I like to have a good amount of spicy eels. Jade and ruby, yeah. That's what I want to have in the... And uh, that's what I want to have in the crystallariums. But right now I have jade and diamond. But I just haven't changed out the diamond. I just keep selling the diamonds. I <laughs> have too many of them. But they're really good um, gifts for people at least. A lot of people that like diamond, so... Staircases are like the uh, camera started by... Yup. And then you also just need like a shit ton of um, bombs. And you bomb yourself. Uh, like... <laughs> oh, that sounds real bad. <laughs> but you bomb your way down. 100 levels. <laughs> you know. That's uh, that's what you need to do. Just a lot of bombs to get your way down. And... Um, spicy eels. And staircases. Wait, that's not right. That can't go there. Uh, holy shit, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Just staircase my way down. No, because yes, I would also do that, but um, I think there's a thing, at least there used to be a thing, where if you staircase, like if you want to do the Mr. Key uh, quest, if you staircase like more than 10 times or something, um, you don't get the quest. Like it doesn't count if you get to level 100, so you can't like staircase your way to level 100. Uh, yeah, that's why I said screw- oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> screw Suki, sorry, I didn't pay attention to that part. But yeah, you can also do, obviously do that. And it, it's a good thing uh, to just staircase all your way down. If what, like, your- if your goal is to just get as far as possible down and get uh, more iridium and more prismatic shards, then it's a really good thing. Can I put those there? I think so. Yeah, if you want iridium. Iridium and prismatic shards, that's why you get all the way down. Full. Well, I didn't really... I spent a lot of time with the trees and didn't really... Um, go into the mines, but you know. We can farm a little bit in here, why not? Do, 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 do. Oh, I can't go in there with my horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, where I spent too much time on this game as well. Yeah. It's just, time goes by too fast, man. Let's go to the 105. Why not? Hello. Also, we just kind of got the galaxy sword as well. Because I finally got that fucking prismatic shard. They were being shy as fuck <laughs> in this playthrough. I have like... Even like my quarry didn't even have that, you know that special stone that um, have a high chance of having a prismatic shard in it? <laughs> One more day curse, exactly. It happens way too much. There's so many times where I play this, especially on my Switch, where I've just been on my Switch and been like, uh, one more day and suddenly it's fucking 4am. Like, it happened way too much, especially during quarantine and stuff. It happened a lot. <laughs> It was real scary. <laughs> I just ending up like 4 a.m. Uh, right. But yeah. So finally we have the ga galaxy sword. It makes it a little easier to be anywhere. To be honest. The one with the swirly patterns. Yeah. I didn't have that stone in my quarry. Like, at all. <laughs> It was very sad. Normally, is it is there often. Not all. It doesn't always have a prismatic shard in it. But most of the time, that one stone is normally in the quarry. It wasn't even in this quarry. It's very sad. And then I didn't get a prismatic shard. And then, no matter how many times I was like at level seventy, level eighty in the uh, in the skull caverns, I still didn't get a fucking prismatic shard from any of the iridium. It was incredibly sad, honestly. <laughs> but finally we got a prismatic shard in the last stream, which felt really good. 
Because honestly, like, life without the Galaxy Sword is just not worth it <laughs> in, in Stardew Valley. You really need that sword, it's pretty good. Uh, let's check this, why not? Pro oh, probably nothing. Oh, there's an emerald, look yeah. Well, you know. Let's head home. We gotta sleep. We're ready for a new coop tomorrow. As I completely forgot that I... I was like, oh, you know, I only in... No longer the best though, no, I know, it's no longer the best, but... You get that one and then you can get better, you know what I mean? It just feels good to have the um, galaxy sword. But yeah, I was like ch doing the... I was just being slow with the um, CC. I could have done it in first year, but I just didn't want to rush it or like feel like I needed to do it fast. But I was like, oh yeah, I only have the tilapia left anyway. It's fine. Like... I'm just missing this lap yet. I completely forgot I hadn't done the full bulletin board yet. And I'm missing the goddamn rabbit's foot. I completely forgot. Which was the whole reason of why I needed to actually upgrade my coop, but I just didn't. And it fucked me, you know? I still needed the lap yet though, so you know. But that was pretty sad. <laughs> the lovely silence of the night time. <laughs> uh, truffle oil. Mm, I'll sell the emerald. I don't really need it. Um, anything else I want to sell here? Nah, I'm okay. Oh, that's painful. Yeah, it was pretty painful. But we do also need to get that tilapia and I can't actually get it until summer anyway. I have them in here. Can't actually get them until summer anyway. So... You know, I guess then it's kind of, it feels a little better because I have a little time. Feeling better. My last save, I had to abandon because I bombed much. No, that is actually like the worst thing you can do in Stardew Valley. Honestly, that that hurts. That oh, we got 10k. Why? What the hell did I do? Oh, cranberries and strawberries. Yes. <laughs> Like, what the hell did I do? Right. No, that one hurts. The bombing on the chests really hurt. Um, right. Beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Spirits are neutral today. I don't really tend to have really good spirits in this one either. Like, the luck in this game, like in this save file, isn't the best for me, honestly. It kind of sucks. Right, we have loads of stuff to sell and to do. We have a lot of honey. We got our iridium bars. Thank you so much for the leeks. Uh, they look fresh and delicious, just we love them. I'm going to surprise him with 12, uh, with 12 little gift wrap treasures. Thanks to you, stop by. You're just gonna wrap 12 leeks and be like, at the 12th day, they're gonna be real bad. I mean, it could have recovered for sure, but it was too painful looking at my... Yeah, you know... At that point, you just abandoned. Thank you for the coffee maker. That's exactly what I needed, Evelyn. All recipe, pumpkin soup. Thank you. Uh, coffee maker will go straight in the house. I'm ready for coffee every day. Can I put them there? Thank you. Like, it's just, you know, there's nothing more painful than doing that. And you just, I don't know. It just hurts. You don't want to think about it. You don't want to ever see it again. It's just, it's over. <laughs> right. Ooh. <gasps> ancient seed. Ancient seed, ancient fruit. Well, time to go in the seed maker and hope that it gives us more than one. Thank you for the fruit. We do need more fruit trees in here, but, you know. And I could fill it with uh, a star fruit as well, but, you know, as I said, I'll take, I take my time. I don't really feel the need to just get the most amount of money or anything. Oh, yes. How many do we get? Oh, two. You know what? 
I'm not gonna complain about two. Could have been one, or it could have even been a goddamn um, mixed seed. So, you know, I'm not gonna complain about two. But yeah, I'm not- I'm just take- I don't even have anything planted outside. I know it's 26, but still, like... I'm just take- I can't be bothered, like... Rushing, trying to get the most amount of money. I'm just having a good time. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> um, sell that. Some of these are good to gift. So I might keep the fruit to give. Uh, I will just sell the blueberries. Uh, I forgot to put in more here. That's about it. Put that away, put this away, put this away. Should go see Clint today with some of our geodes. Do I have more in here? I do. Let's go see Clint today. See if we can give him some, uh, give him some work, you know? First of all, though, we do need to take care of our animals. Hey, cow. Where's our... There's the last cow. Did I pet the chicken? No, I didn't. God damn it. Not to downplay anyone's bad experience, but I'm pretty... Uh... It's fine. I give her stuffing by though if you are leaving. I appreciate you being here. You're allowed to be here from from me, but I get it if you want to leave. Put that in there. Let me get this. Uh, break all that stuff. And oh, put stuff away. <laughs> Never mind. Wait. Oh no, it's fine. Like I get what you mean. I just don't really ever want to make anybody feel bad or like how I don't know I don't know how I would phrase this it's just it's a very sore and difficult topic and if anybody has a bad experience I just I want to say sorry if you had a bad experience uh, I can't really do much more but no I took I get what you're saying and yeah but again like I feel like I can't say that but I like I'm not gonna throw you out just because you said that. That's your, what you want to say. That's your opinion, and I appreciate you staying here and talking anyway. So you know, I find it just kind of difficult sometimes to even like. I don't really know even what to say or how to deal with those sort of topics because it's just, it's not really like. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know how to talk about it, honestly. Anyway, Talgen, hi, welcome. Hi, Sweden. Welcome. What am I doing? <laughs> Let's go to Clint. Before we talk about any other more. You know, I'm being that aggressive on a freaking. Yeah, I know. I know. It is a little bit. Like, we are here to chill. We're here to have a good time. Um. I just wanna, I just wanna have a good time. I don't want anything to be bad or difficult. But you know, uh, I just want it to be chill. Like that's literally why I said the stream is called Saturday Chill. Like, you know. But oh, actually, I don't think we have that. <gasps> Fuck yeah, we don't have that. 
But anyway, statistically, Gunther scams you. Yes, he does. Like, I'm gonna give this to Gunther right now. And I can show you that most of the things he gives me, I haven't even picked up. He's still, he's still like, hey, do you, you want this? <laughs> so, yeah. How's the oil digging going? You know, we're doing great over here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Norway having a good time. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I mean, Clint, Clint scams you on average. Well, yeah, Clint also, obviously. I will never fucking buy shit from Clint. <laughs> like, I'll sell him what he, like... Uh, like, the stuff that I don't need here, I'll just sell back to him. And I'll never buy coal or... Uh, anything, but also Gunther scams like obviously the Gunther doesn't ask for money from you But he does also scam you a little bit because the stuff that he gives you ain't fucking worth it. I'm just saying like <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I could pick up some of the pictures you're giving me though right uh, I think this is the only thing I haven't given Gunther yet The rest I can sell yeah I also think I already have that one. So. Uh, I'm not gonna gift that to Clint. Are you kidding me? Shop. Uh, I'm just gonna sell you this. And uh, the frozen tier I can keep, I guess. Fire opal, I'm also gonna sell. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Clint. Oh, shit. Um... My camera did, uh, froze, freeze, why? Um, oh, I'm not really sure why, but, oh god, <laughs> she moves, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, technical difficulties. <laughs> there we go. Is this better? Hold on. No, we need to move it over again a little bit. We need to pause the game. That's what we need to do. My god. This is better. Sorry. Sorry about that. But yeah. Uh, he does hold a key to the sewers, which is important. But now I have already given him, uh, I gotten already the stuff to the sewers, so you know, we're good. Fill up there, huh? Well, it's going down there then. I'm sorry about the camera difficulties there. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want, I can pick up the picture, I guess. I just, you know, I don't really have space for it right now. I do actually now. I don't really care for this other stuff from him before I always took it but now I'm just like yeah that's there read book before I can go and play digging the dirt can find some interesting things why do you know that one time I found a really old piece of pottery it, I brought it to Gunther and he said it was over a thousand years old and he didn't take it from you he takes everything from me <laughs> do you like my bow yeah here's my sword <laughs> The bell is the best of them, you think? The bell? Uh, Sweden, you know, that's fine. <laughs> the first one. The first one? I don't really remember the bell. Oh, uh, yeah. Mmm. Like, uh, I think that happens with, like, all of those. Like the drum as well, when you walk past it, it like also drums. But I just, I remember like, I got, obviously the first time I played this, I got everything from him and I was like, ooh, this is fun. And then after a while, I always place down like the music part the ones. And I think you need them for something on the island. I don't really, I can't really remember. I don't play much on the island, honestly. Because I never really get there. Um, but honestly, after a while, after having those like drums and the bell and stuff in the house, there's also like a flute. Uh, yeah, the mermaid thing. Player sung for nuts. Exactly. 
that's it, you know, she loves her nuts. <laughs> um, it's just annoying after a while. <laughs> so I took them out of my house. But at some point I'll need them. Dun dun dun. Um, yep. Oh, that's a painting. Sell that. Um, I technically already have one of these, but I keep it anyway. Why not? Sell that, sell that. Yeah, I have one there. And I know I can make a comp computer with it to check like my farm, but I just... Again, haven't done it. I don't have any fish. I have a chest full of fish. How's Paul Rod? Paul Rod is doing pretty good. The the farm is as chaotic as ever. Don't worry about it. It's whole all of this is chaos. It really is. Um it really really is. But yeah, uh I have a chest full of fish and as I I've talked about this before, but I cannot imagine the smell on this farm. Where did I left I left my horse somewhere? Probably left it already as plants. But like, I have pigs digging up truffles. Paul Rudd is, um, oh, where is he? It's not this cow. Is he inside? Where the fuck did Paul, no. Uh, but yeah, Paul Rudd is a cow. I just don't really know where he, he has went. He has just ventured off somewhere, I guess. Or am I just blind? I could also be it. Oh, there he is! This is Paul Rudd. He's three months old and he looks very happy. <laughs> He's inside all of us. Um, don't remember what I was talking about before Paul Rudd. <laughs> Paul Rudd is everything. Anyway. Oh, truffle oil is done. Look, there's a jade! Hell yeah. I now have 36 jades. 37 now though. My god. When is the- Oh, it's the merchant today. I should go ch have a look. In case she has a rabbit's foot. Now I'm all slow without my horse. It's so sad. The missing horse. It's really sad. I'm all slow now. Hmm. Anyway. In case she has a rabbit's foot, because I got forgot about the fucking community center and a bulletin board. I am upgrading the coop now, but still, it will take a long time. A futon bear. I've never seen this item. I kind of want it. The fuck is this? Like a futon, but you had you put your feet up on it. And the poor bear. Only get the horse flute when uh, you no longer use the freaking horse. Yeah, exactly. I want to call my horse. Uh, also, let's get the rare seed because why not? I need it at some point anyway. I can't plant it until... F Actually, you know what? I can plant it in the greenhouse. I was going to say I can't plant it until fall anyway. But I can plant it in the greenhouse. And I want the futon bear. <laughs> it's so... I can't ride Paul Rudd, unfortunately, no. So we can come for the weird statue. Which weird statue? For the one in the secret woods? Doesn't that want the fucking rare seed? Which weird statue? The one in the trees? Up Clint's? What the? Hello? Is there a weird statue there that I don't know about? Hold on, let's go to Clint's. What? Oh, hold on. Okay, I need a cucumber. Let's go. <laughs> Wait, I'm so slow though. When does she close? Does she close like seven or eight? She? I don't know if it's a she actually. Maybe he. The box in that nah, it makes a purple thing. I see. Actually, you know what? I might know that actually. Maybe not. I don't remember. Oh, actually. Is it today that's Pierre's birthday? Doesn't he love fried calamari as well? 
Siri is driving me fucking insane. It happens way too often. Sorry about that. Um, Harvey. No, not Harvey. Pierre. Is it fried calamari that he loves? Yes. I think it's either his birthday in Russian Siri. Yeah, don't mind her. She's annoying as fuck. <laughs> Um, let's get the fried calamari as well and the soup and cucumber. Because it's either today or tomorrow that it's his birthday and I can't remember now. Starting with, I wish uh, mine was still around. Yeah, I just, I needed to write stuff down. It was getting fucking annoying. I <laughs> always needed to remem remember th stuff, but it's just, you know. So I have what everybody loves in there. You don't know the weird statues, three of them. Like the duck mayo one. I do know the strange bun one. But I don't know the other ones, I don't think. All right. Uh, let's, oh, I might not get Pierre right now. Mm. Oh yeah, Vincent's toy box, yes, that's, mm-hmm. I don't know the duck mayo one. I do have duck mayo, but I don't know what that one is. Can his birthday please be tomorrow? Oh, fuck, it's today. I can't get in. <gasps> I can. Fuck yeah. I have fried calamari. <laughs> Pierre, where the fuck are you? If you're not here, I'm staying in here until we get here. Where is he? Why isn't he here? Where is Pierre? Hello? We're gonna go there, hold on. We will go there. But it's Pierre's birthday today. Was he in here? Where is he? He might be at the bar actually because it's a Friday, but I'm not sure. We're gonna go to the thingy, but I will need to give him the fried calamari because Pierre is one of the hardest ones to like get hearts with, at least for me, because I First of all, never have fucking fried calamari, and sec like, second of all, I never fucking talk to him, because I forget that I can talk to him when he's behind here. Is he at the bar? I'm scared of leaving now, because I won't be able to get back in again, and I want to give him the fucking fried calamari. Is he at the bar? Caroline, where is the fuck is your husband? Who turns near midnight at midnight? So he's at the bar. God damn it. You know what? Then we go to the bar. I'm not waiting here until midnight. Pierre, you. Oh, there's Abigail. He better fucking be there. He better fucking be there. Damn it. Oh, there he is, but I don't need this. Hi. I'll take care of your order in a, moment, a few moments. I don't need cutscene right now. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hey Elliot. Hello Jules. What a pleasant surprise. I was just stopping in, in to relax after an 8 hour writing session. 8 hour writing session? My god. Bartender, fetch me your finest ale and bring me some wine for the young lady. For the lady. I'm not young. I'm old. <laughs> Might be gone after the cutscene. He better fucking not. He better not. He better fucking stay right there. I'll punch him in the dick. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be that mean. Uh, there you go, sir. Wait. Uh, I'll propose a toast to Pelican Town, to our friendship, to my, to my good health, <laughs> uh, to your doom. Let's go to friendship. Yay! That's a great idea. Here's to us. I'm drunk now. Strong stuff. He is also drunk now. <laughs> Pierre, you better fucking be there. I swear to God. Where are you? Uh, Pierre, I'm ready for you. Where are you? He's not in there. Oh, there he is. There he is. He blended in with the bar. <laughs> you remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. I am working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on Friday night. 
Right. Bye. Actually, I have a lot of fruit. <laughs> uh, Elliot, I don't know if I can give you anymore. I'm slow now. No. I already given him two. Okay, well, um, Leah, here you go. Kent, here you go. Marnie, there you go. Uh, Louis, there you go. Pam, you better get some cherries in you. There you go. And there you go. I have a lot of fruit. And I gotta get friends to people. Bucks uh, for duck mayo in the saloon. The barrel room back. Damn. No, I'm not gonna eat that bowl. Right, we gotta get the duck mayo then. I do have ducks, so we should be able to get that. For now. I don't have duck mayo on me right now though, but I do have ducks. Let's go up to Clint. Wait, is it all the way up to... Is my horse here? No, my horse isn't here, damn it. Where the... Oh, it's in here somewhere? Where's the opening? Dun, 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 dun. Is it in here? On the right side, of course. I was gonna go there and then I didn't fucking go there. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Ew, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the hell is that? Hmm, <laughs> don't know if I like that. <laughs> also, I think you can get something here, can't you? Oh, actually, you can talk to this guy at some point. I don't know why the driver is here at 11.50 p.m., but, you know. Lucky uh, break. Why don't you bring me a rabbit's foot and I'll make it... Okay, I... I need rabbit's foot for many things right now, honestly, driver. I did say a weird statue. Yes, you did. You know, you did warn me, but, like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, bust up. I think my horse might be here. There it is. Look at my horse, my horse. Well, not many things. One thing in particular, but you know, that one will lead to many things. Like the boat. Uh, horse, I want to plant this seed in my greenhouse. We got to be fast about this. Um plant this right there. Thank you very much. Uh, you're planning on cheating? Cheating as in your, uh, on my partner? Oh yeah, oh, in the game. Um, well, I haven't really decided who my partner in the game is going to be yet either, so I guess we'll see. Right. Art piece? Art. Futon. <laughs> haven't really decided who my partner is going to be. Ever tried? No, I haven't. Because I only have played uh, enough of this game to get a partner once. I like kind of start many times, but never really get that many hearts with people or whatever. And the only person I've ever done, like, had a partner with is Leah. Um... And I didn't cheat. Actually, you know what? That's not true. Because technically, in that. I need to be put in a museum. I'm going to make a little museum over here. Don't worry. In my little room on the side. <laughs> it's going to be my little museum. <laughs> uh, in that playthrough where I um, go with Leah. I technically got with Sam first, and then I was like, what the fuck did I get with Sam? I don't want to be with Sam. Um, and then I started to romance Leah while I was still with Sam, and then I needed to figure... And then I was like, fuck, how do I actually break up with him? Because I didn't realize how I could break up with Sam. So I had to Google like how to break up with him or whatever. So I technically did cheat, because I went with Leah while I was actually dating Sam in the game. Oh, no, I don't want to sleep. Thank you for the coffee. Let me drink it. Glug, glug, glug. Uh, I'm gonna make a nice museum. Blueberry tart, thank you, Pia. Uh, put away my leaves. Um, 
Let's milk our cows. Milk Paul Rudd and Coconut, you know what I mean? Co Paul Rudd is freaking out at me. Uh, the one thing that is wrong. The cutscene that I... Re I don't remember all the cutscenes, honestly. <laughs> so, the, I might have seen the cutscene for the one with the rabbit's foot, but I genuinely can't remember. <laughs> oh. oh. Didn't I get... Did I get milk from him yesterday? I don't remember. I can't, like, again, like, I can't really remember a lot of the cutscenes. There's so few times where I've played this, like, for long enough to actually do a lot of this stuff. Ooh, we can get a uh, rabbit today. Because it's fi uh, finished. We need to go do that then. Go to Marnie. Yeah, they do confront you. Rice food gives the better outcome. I see. Yeah, I just didn't know what the fuck to do. I don't know, just remember like burning a fucking bouquet to break up with Sam and then the hearts go so far down. Like they just, I don't know. It was a weird time. It's a long time ago now though. The time I did that is years ago by now. Not in the fish chest, no. Um, right. Um, everything is good in here. Nice. How's the little cave doing? Nice, nice. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, let's go to Marnie. Let's buy a rabbit. Come here, horsey. We need to buy a rabbit. Oh, chicken. Passing through. Did I get a duck egg now? I did. We should make the duck mayo then. I also think I do actually have... Actually, wait, how many hours to go in this game? Um, I think on PC nearly 100. And I think on Switch, like, closer to 200 probably. So in total, like, maybe 300 hours or something. Maybe... Don't remember last time I checked on Switch, though. Um, but again, I start a lot of them and then, like, just play a year. And then I don't really focus on friendship or anything. Actually, it might be in my fridge. Oh, shit. Wait. Why does it keep freezing? Hold on. What the hell? I've never had this issue before. I don't know why it keeps freezing. I... yeah, the horse does need a fedora. Actually, you know what? I do have a fedora somewhere. Uh, I do have a strange bun, though. Uh, don't I have a fedora? It's not in here, is it? Mm. Do I have it some? It's not in here. There it is. Hello, horsey. There you go. Do 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 do. My horse is amazing. Give it a look. Right. Let's buy a rabbit. I also have a strange bun that we can get another sculpture with. Purchase animals. Give me a rabbit. Give it to me. Boop. What are we gonna call the rabbit? What do you wanna call the rabbit? You just wanna call it do 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 do. Just that. Wait, that's just a heart. Hold on, when I press the thingy... Oh, I see, okay. I've never pressed this button. Try... What the fuck... Oh. Ed, wait. Stars! Ah, oh, cute! There's three, and three hearts, three stars then, sure. 
that's the rabbit. Oh, wait, when she talks about it, it actually gives the color. That's cute. I haven't done that before. Many and learning many Easter eggs in this game today, apparently. I also played this game a lot more on Switch than I have played on PC, though. You become part of this community. Thank you. Thank you for teaching me all this, uh, these small Easter eggs. Is it just putting it in here? Ew, this one is worse. Oh my god. Ew. We lost our search for all the Easter eggs. I get that. And crafting all the possible clothes. I have not crafted a lot of clothing in this game, honestly. I've cl crafted some. But that's not a priority <laughs> for me. Then I left the game. Aww. It's a very nice game, though. I like to just shut my brain up sometimes to play it. That's what I love about this game. It's the opportunity to just, like, completely just shut off. And have a good time. Dum, 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 dum. Hey caviar! Fuck yeah! I think... I can do this now, right? Make some tea. And let's make... No, don't eat it. Make another caviar. Played it during the first months of quarantine. Yeah, I played it a lot during quarantine as well. A lot. That was when I was just on my Switch in bed the whole time. Right. You go right there, my friend. What a nice room. No, I don't want to sleep. Good time. Wait, actually, I didn't check the thingy today. It's going to rain tomorrow. Okay. It was really good times, honestly. I do kind of miss it a little bit, just being able to sit inside cozy up with some Stardew Valley the whole day. Every now and then on Zoom. <laughs> Not for the world, true. But cozying up inside, sometimes be on Zoom on your PC and then cozy up with Stardew Valley. It was pretty good. But also not for as long as it lasted because after a while that just became very draining. <laughs> I didn't cheat on online exams, thank you very much. <laughs> I was uh, the nice kid that follows all the rules all the times. Yeah. Do I regret that now? Yes, after getting the results back on some of my exams, I really do. But now it doesn't fucking matter because I scrapped all that shit and decided to uh, pay a shit ton of money every single year um, to go to private school instead uh, and take a degree in acting. So, fuck all those exams that I did then, because it doesn't matter anymore. Engineering, so I sort of, uh, so I sort of default, yeah, I get that. What did you leave for acting? Literally nothing. Uh, I didn't really know what to do, so I took like a shit ton of stuff. Uh, and especially like the time of like quarantine and um, and like that whole period, I just uh, I just took a whole bunch of different like uh, things to try and figure out what I wanted to do because I knew I wanted to do acting, but that's not very sustainable, and I need to be a freelancer, and that's fucking scary, and it's not safe. So a part of me was like, okay, let's see if we can find something else I can do. Try and take a lot of different things. Uh, and I hated all of them. It wasn't fulfilling. And it might have been not fulfilling because of, um, like, quarantine and having to be inside all the time. And I was just there with my exams and my Zoom and whatever. But yeah, I took some stuff in... Oh yeah, I wanted to take some... Uh, Related to literature as well. I took engineering anyways, yeah. I took... Uh, some psychology stuff. 
And even though I find it super interesting, I just couldn't do that. I find it so interesting, but I find it so draining on me as a person if I were to help others like that. Because I take it all in and I would have a hard time actually like separating my life from that or whatever. So I found that really draining. And then I did some um, game stuff. So I took some lessons or like some uni stuff for learning about games and how to do video games. Uh, and that was also very interesting, but uh, I always was like in a class with other people that just knew a lot more than me and it kind of always made me feel stupid, even though I was kind of there to learn, but everybody felt that they already knew everything, <laughs> which kind of sucked. Uh, so it's more like that class just wasn't for me, I think. And then I did something called audiovisual aesthetics, which has more obviously uh, no, I have done coding. It wasn't like coding. It was more learning about like the aesthetics of video games and how to like... Um... Yeah, it was, it was a weird one. It had nothing to do with coding, but it was kind of about learning how to make video games, but just nothing to do with coding, which was fucking weird. I already know coding and I can already do coding. I ha like I've taken IT for like two years. Um... JavaScript script is the bane of my existence. I hate it with a pure passion, but you know. Um, but yeah, then I did audiovisual aesthetics, which was closer to like what I kind of wanted to do because it obviously has a lot to do with movies and cinema, and we uh, talked a lot about it with movies and cinema, which was pretty nice. And we watched a lot of like movies, and I got to watch a lot of old classics. Um, but in the end, I just wanted to do acting, and now I'm paying a shit ton of money to do that. When uh, school in, uh, like, higher education in Norway is free if you go uh, public. But I obviously go to a private school, so I pay a shit ton of money when I don't actually kind of need to. I could, I could go public, but it's a lot harder, obviously, to go public if I want to go acting. So instead of just actually taking uh, a bachelor in um, something that could have been free and I could have then also taken the bachelor and immediately gone into um, or a master and immediately going into secure work I choose to pay a shit ton of money every year when I don't actually have to and also don't get a secure job afterwards it just feels really good you know <laughs> but no I am actually loving my uh, my degree that I'm taking right now. It is very fulfilling to me and I'm having a lot of fun. The explorer options. I just picked something that seemed realistic to me. Yeah. I get that. I think to me, I felt like I had to explore other options because what I felt like I wanted to do wasn't realistic. Um... But it just what I, I am a type of person that kind of needs... If I something doesn't feel fulfilling to me or doesn't feel like something I want to do I just can't do it I I know that it sounds stupid because obviously everybody gets some type of motivated from money uh, because that's just how our society works and that you need money and obviously I want money so I can actually buy food and shit but um, in the end I don't really I'm not actually really that motivated by money and I can't just do a job just for the money if I actually hate the job. I can't do that. I uh, almost at the end, but the hard part is about uh, to come. I don't know what that type of exam is. Can you explain me what type of exam that is? You know, as a stupid uh, acting student, I don't know. Uh, oh, if only we can all do what we love without being. Uh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, you know, but for me also, obviously, this type of work, if I were to be like, actually, you know what, I'm going to take my horse. Next time to get your engineering, I see. Yeah, that's probably the hardest one. I can totally agree with that one. <laughs> that seems to suck, but yeah. I am just so lucky right now as well because my, all my exams are like not actually exams. It's just like, do what you, like, 
for example, we have like movement class and stuff, and in movement class for our, ex our exams, we're just like rolling around on the floor, and <laughs> it's it's so stupid, and I fucking love it. Everybody else of like my friends are like stressing about their exams, and I'm like, I don't even have exams. <laughs> and I was like, if you uh, fail it, and that's years down the drain. Exactly. That's silly. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna sell every like I'm gonna sell taking that degree as much as I can to not make me feel bad for spending so much money doing it. But um, it's fucking stupid. But it, the only thing that scares me the most about the degree I'm taking right now. Oh shit! I'm too busy. Thinking about what I'm doing. Damn it, duck mayo. Why, why did I fail me? <laughs> anyway, we'll get to duck mayo in a couple of days. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It's the last day of spring. But if I fail with my degree, the thing is that I don't have anything to fall back on because I don't have another degree. And that's what scares me. If I had something else I could fall back on, I would have been fine doing this, but I don't. I can spam the full moon, just click on it. Oh my god, what the? He got mad at me. Look how mad he is. <laughs> he got mad at me, oh no. <laughs> oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> That's also fun though. There's so many Easter eggs in this game. I love it. Oh, it's raining. The last day of spring, it's raining. Alright, let's drink our coffee and get on our way. That's true. You know what? And also, we're gonna need actors, you know. I'm just trying everything to just keep myself just being like, yeah, this is a good choice by being like, we're gonna need actors. Like, people need human, like, entertainment. Blah, blah, blah. Mm, totally. It's so worth it. Mm -hmm. No, oh, but I do actually love my degree. The only problem also with my degree is that I'm actually taking a degree in method acting and people are very, very like split when it comes to obviously method actors and method acting and the method, which uh, that part's a little scary because I do know that some people are gonna just uh, not want to work with me because I am trained in the method, but you know, Sucks for them, I guess. Look at my rabbit! Fuck yeah. Give me a rabbit's foot. You bitch. You better. Uh, ain't that like uh, what the dude from uh, she read it where he didn't bathe in order to be uh, in the minds of a soldier. Okay. So here's the thing that we talk about a lot in my course. That is not considered method acting, no, but that is what everybody think method acting is, which is the issue. Because that is putting the meth people who do actually do method acting in a bad light. Because that just makes us sound like fucking lunatics. And uh, sometimes people use the term of like, oh, I'm doing, okay, I'm gonna laugh at you, don't worry. <laughs> I don't mean anything negative towards you. Like, I'm not saying like, oh, fuck you for saying that. I totally get, get it, because that's what the media and like what people are like, this is what method acting is. And I'm like, nah, that's not it. So here's the thing. <laughs> there are people who will say that they do method acting to kind of like rig the system to be able to be an asshole sometimes. So they will be like, oh, but I have to do this thing because my character is like this. And for me to understand my character better better, and to do method acting, I need to also be an asshole, which is what gives us the bad reputation. And then you also have people, for example, like that, who are like, oh, to like understand, be in the mindset of a soldier, I cannot bathe for this and this many days or 
or there are people who are like, oh, um, to play this role, I need to get really buff or I need to get really skinny or really uh, have a lot of weight on me, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, that is fine. You are allowed to do that. That has nothing to do with method acting, though. That is a choice you take as an actor to choose to either gain weight or lose weight in terms of uh, understanding your character or choosing a bait to understand your character. Oh, shit. Well, <laughs> I will try and continue talking about this after this cutscene. Hold on. Jules. I'm sorry. My life. It's a pathetic joke. Look at me. Why do I even try? I'm too small and stupid to take control of my life. I'm just a piece of uh, solid garbage. Uh, fil filtering? Flithering. Flithering? No, I don't know. In the wind. I've been coming here often lately, looking uh, down. Here's a chance at finally taking control of my life. These cliffs. But, but I'm too scared. Jangshis, just like always. Jules, all I do is work, sleep and drink. To uh, dull the feeling of self-hatred. Uh, why should I even go on? Tell me. Tell me why I shouldn't roll off this cliff right now. Because there's so much to live for. Jazz needs you. You're like a father to her. It would be a sin. The decision is, uh, is your own. Just know that I'm here for you. Mm, I don't really like any of these options. I'm just saying. But... Uh, Jazz needs you. Why not? You're right, Jazz. Oh God, horrible self. I'm a horrible selfish person. See, that's why I didn't want to pick that one. Anyway, I feel even worse. I'm sorry. I should not pick that one. I knew that, but also, yeah. Do you take me to the hospital now? I will. I will tell you what the method acting is. Don't worry. <laughs> I pumped his stomach and rehydrated his body. He's going to be okay. It's, uh, it's good that you brought him in, though. This is too much of like a deep cutscene for me to be able to talk about method acting. <laughs> I'll let that in. It's some water. Don't worry. Too much alcohol is terrible for the body. But right now, the most worried, uh, most worried about his mental health. Uh, when he comes to, I'll have a chat with him about his treatment options. I know an excellent counselor in the Suzu City. Did I read that right? Life can be painful sometimes, but there's always hope for a better future. You've got to believe in that. Do, do, do. Oh, horsey! Do, 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 do. That was a very, very dark uh, cutscene. <laughs> I knew that was a dark cutscene though, but still. Um, and no thing that we need. Nothing that we need, unfortunately. Uh, let's check the quarry as well. Just in case. Oh. Um, there we go. There are some stuff here, which is good. Very okay. You're back. So, as I said, <laughs> to make those decisions, decisions of like uh, to understand the character better, I don't bathe and stuff, is a choice that an actor can do. However, what we talk about a lot in method acting, so method acting comes. Uh, Method acting, or the method, comes from Lee Strasberg, the dude, American dude. But method acting technically comes from a dude called Stanislavski, who is a Russian guy. Uh, but he called it, uh, not the method, but he called it something else. Don't, what the fuck did he call it again? Oh, we got another duck egg. Don't worry, we're gonna get the mayo now. Um... And one of the things that he did, that Russian guy, was that um, one day he was going to play this character, 
that uh, was locked in this uh, cellar for days. And he thought, because he tried to like get more closer to the characters and stuff, that maybe I should lock myself in a cellar for days. He was there for like a few hours and was like, fuck this, this is miserable, I hate this, why the hell would I do this to myself? I can imagine with my brain how it would be to be locked in a cellar for days without actually having to be locked in a cellar for days. It is fucking miserable to be locked in a cellar for days. Why would I actually do that to myself? Um, so he is a so the method acting is a very method actor our method the method is a very like um, they think it's very important to obviously do research. So if you're gonna play a doctor you would actually have to do research on how to be a doctor, which makes sense, obviously. But, um, you don't need to, like, actually, like, if you're gonna be, like, a brain surgeon, you don't have to, like, go and be a brain surgeon. You just have an interview with someone who's actually been a brain surgeon or are a brain surgeon and talk to them about what their experience with being a brain surgeon, both mentally and physically, is like, and you try to interpret what they do. You know what I mean? Um, there's no point as an actor to actually put yourself to tra trauma or any like other sort of like uh, thing that would make your life miserable just because you're gonna play a role. There's a lot you can actually like imagine yourself. Ooh, actually, damn it! I was gonna say I didn't get the, I haven't gotten the plush yet from the bush, but that's twelve on the last day. So, uh, the method acting uh, is a lot more of like doing research, obviously. So, as I said, if you're gonna play a doctor, you would do research on how to play a doctor. It is a lot to do with sensory work. That is what we work on the most. And the most bullshit thing that I find of people saying that they do the method or like are, are a method actor, actor uh, is the people that goes, Oh, I was going to play this character. So for the six months that we were filming for uh, this movie, I was in character for six months. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? You were in character for six months? How the fuck? Fuck were you character in the six months? I don't get what you mean by that. Because say that you were gonna play like Henry the Eighth. I can't I'm not gonna buy anything from him right now. Or actually, maybe I should just get it so I have it. What do I need? Uh you know, I'm not ready for it, but I have full hearts with someone, whatever. I have all the eight hearts with someone. Um because, okay, say so that you were going to play, like, Henry VIII. Uh, who is... Uh, you could go behead people, or it may be a nasty wound on your leg. Like, you see what I mean? Like, you're obviously not going to go behead people. You're not going to go get a nasty wound. Why the fuck would you... Like, hello? Which is kind of like why we're talking about Gerard Leto, who actually, like, when he was going to play the Joker, he was being a method actor and did a lot of, like, nasty stuff to people on set, which is, like, that is not okay. But, yeah. So, the thing about, like, always being in character are people saying, like... First of all, I don't get what you mean, because, as I said, if you're going to play Henry VIII... Are you going to get confused about the cameras? Are you going to get confused when you have a break and somebody asks you, Hey, do you want to get a taco? And going to be like, what the fuck is a taco? Like, no, of course not. You are going to realize what a taco is because you live in the 21st century. Or, you know, you're filming a movie. So you're half your character and half the your actual person. Like, you as an actor. So you're not always in character. That is impossible. That can never happen. That's the point of being an actor. Second of all, stop being an asshole to other people by like saying that. Oh yeah, I had to. Call they had to call me Henry the Eighth for all those six months. Why? That is just annoying for those other people, and it gives you as an actor nothing. It doesn't change anything if they call you Henry the Eighth the whole time. Nothing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's so annoying. Um. 
so uh, as I said, what we work on a lot, fuck off Emily, is something called sensory work, um, which is a lot to obviously do. Painting can never fall under the method acting, not even in the uh, extreme side. It falls under probably the extreme side, but what people that actually, like as I said, what we that actually study method acting it does. I guess like the bathing isn't like the worst thing, obviously. You know what I mean? It doesn't hurt anybody else as long as, well, other than that it can bother other people, but that you, you would smell all the time, which can also be annoying to other people. That, oh, because I need to know how it is to be a soldier, I'm not gonna bathe for six weeks. And you guys just had to deal with my smell. That is not like, be a proper human being, you know what I mean? You don't need to do that. But, what we as a method, like, that study method acting, or like, our method act uh, that trained method actors do, is say that, yes, that falls under the, probably the extreme part of method acting, because there will always, obviously, be people that goes to the extreme in anything, in any case, in every, everything. I can get Brad Pitt getting tired of smell, exactly. <laughs> but, um... Um, the thing is that we like to just call it that that's a choice you as an actor do. You don't do it because of that you are a method actor. You do it because you choose to do that as an actor. If you understand the difference. I'm getting too caught up in this. I will get them duck mail. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh, I actually don't have the North Lush shell. Okay, cool. He's still open, isn't he? Um, uh, but yeah, sense memory basically has to do with um, kind of what it seems like. You imagine yourself in a scenario or something happening to you or uh, like, for example, with rain, like in this game. You can sit. Uh, you can sit and imagine yourself being in the rain, inside. And because of how like your body and mind kind of works, this sounds fucking insane. I know, but because of kind of how like your body and mind works, if you imagine it well enough and whatever. <laughs> you can like your body can kind of start behaving like it's raining that you get cold and that you get wet and that you kind of maybe want to get sheltered or and that you can kind of see that through the body so for example with the uh the world war ii thing and the stank of like not bathing because you're a soldier instead of actually doing that you can like sit and you can sense smell so you would probably know you probably any human would have probably not showered for uh any human will probably not have showered for a week and or at some point you would have had a really tough workout and you would have been really sweaty and you would have been super gross smelling so then instead of not baiting for fucking forever you can sit in a room if for some reason this would help you, I don't, yeah. And you can start sensing the smell of um, how it was after a really bad workout, you know? Like the stank of like your sweat and everything after a really bad workout. Um, and then what you can kind of do, which is the weird thing, is that you can either make that sense, like you can imagine that sense being stronger or less. It's the same with us also working with pain, because we do this with pain as well, we sense pain. So sometimes you can start with the pain being very, very small in an area, like your arm. And you can start gradually upping that pain scale, on that pain scale and up it to a 10, even though it's not actually a 10. And obviously nothing is actually happening there. But you, as a person, can react as if there's actually like real pain happening in your arm. It can be the same thing then with smell, that you can like sense your way to that, that this stank is even much more than you thought it would be. And they're saying that, it, but it wouldn't actually be experiencing it would be better. Not really. Because it would just be a shit experience for you. 
not a human being not baiting for six weeks or whatever will actually like like go a lot in on your mental health it will like really it can really destroy your mental health not actually taking care of yourself which is also a lot of what happens to soldiers the fact that they can't even take a simple shower like obviously they go through a lot more other stuff but sometimes when you have such a hard and shitty time sometimes all you want to do is something just as simple as taking a shower which then again as an actor why the fuck would you go through that or just feeling shitty about yourself because you can't take a shower there's no point it's like the same thing with like um the being in the cellar for a long time why would you go through the mental struggles of just being in a cellar for that long if you don't have to you can always imagine yourself in that scenario so what you're saying is that all those sh uh, those shits from not uh, baiting to being an asshole can certainly te can technically be considered as method acting, but a lot of this just bullshit because it's not worth it, and it's also bullshit uh, that is what um, uh, pops into people's mind when someone mentions method. Yes, basically, there's so much more to method acting as well, but this is like the big main part that is kind of like yeah. And also people obviously put up the thing that method acting destroys your mental health, which is because people think that you have to not bait for six weeks <laughs> to do method acting. That's what people think method acting is, and that you will ruin your mental health, because if you're playing a character that is mentally fucked up, and you have to be that character for six months, you will also be mentally fucked up. And I'm like, you don't have to be that character for six months. One of the first things we learn at my school, like literally the first week, is focusing on how to get into a character and how to let go of that character as fast as possible. That we're trying to learn how to make the gap between uh, switching on character and switching off character as sh so short as possible. That you need as little preparation as possible to just do that switch from being in character to not being in character. You should not need to constantly be in character and when people are saying that oh we're taking a break now you can actually take a break and just be yourself and not have to be in character all the time and feel all the shady stuff that the character is feeling especially then if a character is like struggling mentally or something like that which is where the issue comes in because people think that in, as a method acting you method actor you have to constantly be in character and if you have a character that obviously again struggles mentally or goes through something really traumatic or whatever you're just gonna be mentally fucked as well and that everything is shit and your life is gonna be shit and that method acting is very harmful method acting in itself isn't harmful at all it's just what people like to think method acting is that is harmful um or that people are practicing it wrong that is harmful kind of thing because they have a perception of how it is yeah, it's all kinds of messed up. Really. And it kind of sucks. Because then you have also a lot of people being like, Yeah, I definitely... Uh... <laughs> but I gotta say, Heath Ledger Joker was fire. Yeah, he was really good. And he was a really, really good method actor. Like, and it's really sad that everybody blames how he died on method acting. Because there's so many stories of how he actually died and why he actually died. And that it had... Some are saying that it, he killed himself because of uh, the method because of method acting. And that it ruined his mental health. Some are saying that it because he uh, didn't mess up with his medicine and alcohol. And it's just a whole, a whole mess of a thing. But he uh, did a really, really... He was a really, really good method actor. Um... And, yeah. But I think it's still really sad that he obviously died because he was a really good actor. Um, but yeah, you have also a lot of people saying, I am never, ever practicing method acting. I would never be a method actor because method acting is fucked and that's a bad way of acting. And blah, 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 blah. And then I love people who then goes like, oh, okay, so when you're preparing for a character, when you... Like, say that you're playing that you're going to be in love with this person. How how do you go about, like, falling in love with this person? And they kind of could go like, oh, um, 
Well, I kind of imagine my relationship with this other person. I think about this other person when I'm like acting with them, like I am being with that other person. And I'm like, oh, interesting. Cause so you're doing sense memory then, which is method acting. So you're doing method acting, but not doing method acting. Like it's kind of weird. Because a lot of people are like, I would have nothing to do with method acting. I hate all the methods they do. I hate everything they do. And everything about method acting is wrong. And then they kind of already do parts of like what method acting is. And it's a whole mess. All of like the different type of acting, like ways of acting. There's many different like learn ways of learning how to act. All kind of at some point connect together. And they're all kind of the same thing anyway. So it's just bullshit. I think going to India and experience the culture. That's clearly method acting, right? Well, that could certainly help. Like, obviously, like, again, as I said, do research. Method acting is all about wanting to do research and you should always do research. But that doesn't mean that you need to physically torment yourself mentally or physically to do research. Oh. Hey. So always do, if you're gonna play um, a character that knows a lot about India, get to know India. Do a lot of research about India. Obviously. That is doing research, yes. Yes, that is doing research. You should do that, 100%. If you need to know about the culture of India, 100%. Do that. She doesn't want to shut up. Nay! Sorry about that. I hope she shuts up. Anyway, yes, do research, always do research. Doesn't have to do any, like, but it shouldn't mentally or physically torment you or gives you trauma. But always, obviously, read up on all you can about India, all about the culture. Talk to Indian uh, people who knows about the culture. Go to India if that's what you want to do. That isn't the problem. How do I say this? I'm really sorry about what happened on the cliff. That was embarrassing. I'm glad I was there to help. You need a serious wake up call. Just happy you're, I'm just happy you're still here. What was that serious, huh? I can hardly remember. Hmm. Oh, sorry. It's... I don't really know how I can explain this better, but I feel like, obviously, talking to some... Like, say that with two is about India. Talking to someone who's Indian, eating the food, um, getting to know the culture, it's just gonna... Oh, shit. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Right. That should be better. No, no, it's fine. I it's very confusing and the lines do blur a lot. L because and that, I think that's why people think that method acting is going to torment your life and ruin your mental health and like break you because the lines are kind of blurred. But you kind of just need to realize the line for yourself uh, where yes this feels like healthy research where i'm actually uh, learning something that would be helpful for my character versus um where it feels like okay you know what i can't actually do this research this far because now it's actually affecting me as a person and affecting my life and like how i feel so I'm gonna stop the research there. I'll go back to this research that feel easier for me, like eating the food, for example. And then, you know, you kind of just need to figure out where the line kind of goes for yourself as well. But there is a difference between, as I said, like starving yourself for a role because your role like has anorexia or whatever, trigger warning, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, like there's a difference between that and talking to someone who has that illness, for example. 
are actually doing it to your own body. You shouldn't ever do that to your own body, but you can always go and talk to someone. Talk If you don't I directly want to talk to someone who has the illness, start talking to like a psychiatrist, for example, instead then. And also, it's always just said that anybody should always anyway have a psychiatrist, no matter what you're doing in life. So, you know what I mean? Like, just start there. <laughs> but yeah, the lines are kind of blurred, but, you know. I decided I want to see a therapist. Harvey got me in touch with a colleague of his. Therapist. Anyway, just wanted to thank you for uh, taking care of me. And I want you to know that I'm going to take things a little more seriously from now on. I don't want to be a burden to anyone. And also, I'm just gonna say that I'm really glad that you're just asking and like that you're allowed to be confused and it really is confusing. It's confusing to me a lot of times as well. And I'm not mad at like anyone for not understanding and I just appreciate people that want to understand it better. And you're also allowed to disagree that you don't think that there's a difference between it that regardless it's just either shit or the same. Like. I totally get that, and a lot of people don't like the method acting, uh, like, that type of, like, acting, or, like, how to treat yourself, like, it's not for everyone. Also, it's the first day of summer. Which is exciting. Uh, I think most people only do those fucked up uh, shit because they think that's what it takes, exactly. And that's where the issue comes in, of, like, media talking about people doing that and then everybody think that that's every that that is what method acting is that only those fucked up stuff that is not good for you is only what method acting is and that's what people that's what gets gives people the wrong impression you know what i mean because a lot of people actually get what it is they just have oh he doesn't have milk they just have the wrong impression uh because media just paints it as a really bad thing because the lines are all blurred and nobody really understands and nobody really takes time to actually understanding but even so like obviously anybody is allowed to have their opinion of whether they like it or not and but i think that you shouldn't make up an opinion of whether you think something is bad or not before you've actually like taken your time to learn about it talk to somebody who knows you know what i mean Talk to somebody who can enlighten you, and then you can make up an opinion. Do you know? Like, there's a, there's a whole, a whole mess of things. You know what I mean? But especially for method acting, it's just been given a really bad reputation because people just don't understand it, and then they just kind of got into the understanding that anything extreme that people are doing to their body or to their mental health must be method acting. But you know. I still appreciate that you're asking and uh, just wanting to know, you know. And I probably talk way too much about it to the point where it's just like, yeah, I get it. You need, you can shut up now. But I find it really fascinating, and I think it's interesting to learn about. Uh, yeah, I don't think I got a duck egg today, though. I got duck feather. <laughs> um, but yeah. Put that away. It's the first day of summer, so we're gonna go and get us a little fish. We're gonna get into tilapia. We're fucking doing it. Finally, and then we're only missing that goddamn rabbit foot. Which I really hope that I don't just have somewhere for some reason that I got it from something and that I just don't know. Because <laughs> that would have been a little sad. Thank you for all the fruits. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I talked a lot about that now, so I'm sorry if that was really annoying or boring. I just find it a fascinating topic. There's a reason I choose to study it, I guess, so. Do, 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 do. Hey, rabbit, what are you doing all the way up here? Can you give me a rabbit's foot? I can't chop one off. I'm just kidding. Um, let's sell this. Um... Yeah. Come on, horsey. We're gonna go to the beach. Because we need a tilapia. I think I also missed someone else's birthday, but... Oh, well. 
Mm, I might not give you that copper or clint, but we'll s I'll accept it anyway and we'll see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Why not? Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna get that trash can. Uh, I don't want to get the hundred of wood. Berries are considered the latest superfood in Susa City. Hundred berries by the end of the season. You know what? I can probably do that because I already have some blueberries anyway. You want a hundred blueberries? Yes. I have a lot of blueberries anyway. And I understand when you enter and feel everyone outside. It always seems. Uh, so fun. Yeah, sometimes. But I also think that it's just. Parts of it is that method acting has such a, such a bad reputation that I want to make the reputation better, you know? Since I have the knowledge, I can bring it to other people, I guess. Oh, hi. Alex, I don't like you. It's <laughs> Jules, right? Yeah, I've been there for a year and a half now. It's... During the great weather. Good for you. Go along. I dropped it. Nice try. I didn't even pick it up again. <laughs> I'm gonna for the first professional grid ball player from Stargy Valley. There's no doubt in my mind. I already lead my school's team. Now and the regional play team to the re I already led my school's team to the regional playoffs. Now I'm just uh, training to get uh, and getting stronger so I can claim my spot on the roster. Roster? Maybe. Of the Susu uh, City Tunnelers. You just wait. I believe you. Wow, you're really arrogant. I believe in you. I mean, I do my homework outside and people look at me like I'm writing alien language or something. Exactly, like... It's like the, the, it's like the equivalent of going to your grandma and like switching the HDMI uh, port and her being like, Oh my god, you're such a genius! And I'm like, mm-hmm, totally. <laughs> like, it's the same equivalent that every time you know something more about something more than others, you just seem like... You just alien to them. Like, it's really funny. Thanks, Jules. I'll remember that. It's the same thing when I did, like, coding and stuff. People were like, how the fuck do you know how to do that? And I'm like... I didn't before I learned it. Like, hello. <laughs> that was fun, huh? Sure. Sure it was. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's get that tilapia. I don't really like fishing in this game. But we're gonna get it anyway. I believe in us. That's not tilapia. Oh my god. What the hell are you? No. No. Ah. No. What the fuck was that? Like a squid or something? I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for that fast pace. I'm just looking for tilapia, honestly. I I I don't want none of that. Dun, 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 dun. The Easter egg. If you uh, stop blue is on the ninth of the fall. He's the. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna read that. I just need to get the fish. Hold on. Hope you hold. <laughs> oh, two tilapia. Fuck yeah. Um, if you stalk Louis on the ninth of the fall, he sleeps with Marnie in her bed. They don't always do that in the. Uh, they don't always do it in the bushes. Damn, really? Well, he did leave his lucky purple shorts in there, so I do. I guess he would. You know what I mean. <laughs> I guess he would be in the bedroom you know, of Marnie sometimes, because he did leave his lucky purple shorts there. But damn, Lewis, that's kind of fun. That is the day. Oh, um, yeah. I feel bad for uh. 
Oh, two fishes at once. That is because I have the wild bait on. There's a chance when you have... Oh, when you have this bait on, the wild bait. It's your line, the recipe you get from Linus, and there's a chance of getting, catching two fish at the same time. Never bothered with that. Me neither. I've just gotten in a lot of tre treasure chests. Um, I genuinely, I haven't crafted it ever. That's just because I got in a treasure chest. That's the only reason. No, I don't want the fast fish. I have no, you have no, no, you have no business here. I'm not interested in you. No, thank you. I'm gonna lose you. Bye. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Haley. How you doing? First day of summer. It's, not, it's gonna get such a nice tan this summer. Enjoy. Let's bring those tilapias to the CC. And then we are only missing a rabbit's foot. Hey, Granny. I should probably also get some seeds. Maybe some more blueberries. I'm gonna do the 100 blueberries in the end of the season. Um, there we go. Bundle complete. Thank you for the warp totems. Do I need those? No, not really, but thank you. Bam, 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 bam. When we're done here, we'll return to the other world. They're so cute! Bye! Give me that star! I also can't believe I went in here so many- Like, I went in here knowing I needed the slapia. And I didn't even see that I needed two stars. Like, what the fuck? Uh, the rabbit foot is just for this. I'm- I forgot that I needed the rabbit's foot for this. You know what? I- That logic, I just fuck- I- Yeah. I don't get that. I don't, like, I get that obviously, like, you know, they have the lucky rabbit's foot or whatever, but to get it, you, like, I don't know why a rabbit is just losing its foot. It's not like a lizard, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, a, a rabbit isn't like a lizard. I don't really know how you get it. Ooh, actually, you know what? I have a coffee. You can take that. There you go. I'm <laughs> a fucking wizard. <laughs> I like that you said wizard instead of lizard, though. Oh, spice berry. Thank you very much. Actually, fuck. I was gonna go to Pierre. I need some seeds. My mind is all over the place. God damn it. <laughs> anyway. I also think we're gonna play this last day. And then I'm gonna end the stream. Um, but we do need to get some seeds first. Hello, Leah. How you doing? Wild fruits this morning. Sorry, I don't have any left. Keep looking. I'm sure you find some. Um, don't worry, but you can get a good cherry. Don't worry about it. I know that's not really your favorite, but I don't really have your favorite right now, so you get that. Uh, let's get like 10 blueberry seeds more, because why not? Uh, and then let's get like a lot of melons. Because fuck yeah. 50 melons, sure. I'm out of it. Been studying for hours for doing in. Damn. That's good of you, though, studying on a fucking Saturday. Like, hell yeah. Oh, I should have done some red cabbages as well. But damn, that's really good. Thank you for being here. I had a lot of fun. It's very kind of you. Uh, should we. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with some red cabbages right now. I'm fine. Let's just plant these. Fades, yeah, that's true. That is true. Hey, thank you so much for following as well. I appreciate that. That is very, very kind of you. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. I don't really know why a notification didn't show up. I just saw it at the top there. That's kind of weird. I didn't hear a notification at least. But thank you so much, I appreciate it a lot, and I really hope that your exam goes well. Cause fuck. <laughs> that is a lot of pressure. 
Like, that's a lot, a lot of pressure. That, like, that determines your faith is pretty, like, that's intense. So I hope that goes well. I wonder why it didn't show up. It's kind of weird that the notification didn't show, but... Dude. Uh, oh yeah, I have some eggs. My god, I can't think about anything. <laughs> can't do something twice, like, at the same time. Apparently. Let's... Actually, you know what? Should I move this? It's not really a space to move it to, so that's fine. I guess. There we go. There we go. I don't know if this... Hold on. This goes out there. This isn't... Hmm, it is hit by something, right? That This gets water, doesn't it? This patch right here. I think it might. Oh. Uh, um there we go there we go oh there we go it does thank you appreciate sure this is not the best setup at all but you know let's just get some bloops up here and plant some melons There's not that much space, honestly, on this farm to actually, like, plant stuff. Which is kind of sad. I'll plant the rest of the 19 after this has grown. I think. Oops. That was a little bit of a waste, but, you know. No. Damn it. I'm not watering this very sufficiently, honestly. Nope. Don't do that. God damn it. I know. It, I hate it. It's really annoying that this one space is just wasted. It's kind of annoying. I also hate it. But it's like... Well, I guess I could move this and have it on the side over here. I could have done that. And had this be whatever... But this farm is just kind of stupid. Like, I do like the quarry, but I don't really use it much. So it's, like, kind of, like, I don't know. There's not enough not enough space to have, like, a huge far like huge farming area for this one. Ooh, shit, I should have bought a flower for the bees. Oh, well. I can't sleep knowing that configuration exists. Don't look at it. If you don't look at it, it doesn't exist. Well... Hold on. I'm, I'll move out of the way so it's out of sight, out of mind. Hold on, don't worry. Too, uh, and out of sight, out of mind. Don't worry about it. It doesn't exist. It's fine. It's never, never been there. It's never not been there. It's... You know? Yeah, I know. This sprinkler right here. Also, there's a one sprinkler here for this one, which is also a really big waste. But I should get three flowers in front of all of this, but I don't need that. But I should. And also this one was just because I wasn't going to do this tile right here. Uh, I didn't have this one either. Uh, but I wasn't going to do this tile right here. Or I wasn't going to plant anything there. And then I managed to plant something there. And I was like, fuck, now I need a sprinkler there. And I only, I had the regular, these, like these sprinklers. And not just the normal, like shitty sprinkler. So now it's like this. And I also can't uh, plant anything around this. So uh, my sprinkler life and my farm life right over here is pretty sad. Uh, don't think too much about it. It's very sad. And I should also have a different sprinkler there. But if I do three flowers in front of the bees, it should be fine. Then I can get some more flowers as well. I'll try. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll fix it. You know, next season, we're going to be strong. Fall, 
We're gonna have a strong fall farm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, what else do I need to put in here? Nothing. Anything in here? No. Seaweed. I can put that in here, I guess. Yeah. Um, nothing in here. Right. Let me just... These go somewhere else. These are just some uh, presents for people. The duck feather can go to Elliot. Um, this can go in here and this can go in here. The seeds can go in here. That's full, right? Yeah, that's full. And that's about it. Yeah. Time to go to sleep. Yes. I'll try and remember the duck mayo tomorrow. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll write it down in my handy dandy little notebook right over here. So I might remember it for the next stream. Duck mayo. Exclamation mark. I got it. Don't worry about it. We'll remember that the next stream. And we end with 11k. Did, I didn't put anything more in my kegs, did I? I just took stuff out of it and didn't put anything in it again. Oh well. That is for next stream me. That's for future. Problems for future me. Anyway. Thank you so much for being here. For anybody who came around. Thanks for the follows. I appreciate that a lot. That's very, very kind. Thanks for uh, the very, very fun just chats, you know? Thank you so much for being around. I see you. It's been fun. Um, yeah. Thanks for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>